This example, example 25, is very similar to the previous one. We're going to use the CAS to draw a slope field for differential equation dy dx equals negative x on 2y and show the solution for the initial condition 0, 1. So x equals 0, y equals 1. So our DE is negative x on 2y. I'm just going to put that in. So I'm going to use menu, graph entry, go to differential equations, negative x over 2 times y. And my condition was 0 and 1. That should display our slope field and also our conditions will show us the particular solution. And oh, I think what I've done, it's a good thing I did this actually, so you can see if that ever happens. If you get a weird dot, it's probably because you haven't used the right variable here. So I've just used a y and I need to use a y1 so it knows what it's doing. So I'll put a y1 in there. Now I'll push enter. Cool. So you can see you've got the direction or slope field is lots of um, circle or ellipses, really. So lots of ellipses are from around the origin radiating out. And you can see that the particular conditions that we've got have sort of given us the top half of that ellipse. Okay. Sometimes it can get a bit confused on the edges just because of the way that um, the process works for finding your solution going backwards. But um, you've essentially got the top half of an ellipse there that's been defined really clearly. So for this question, you've used your CAS to draw the slope field. It's all essentially ellipses, and the solution for that particular initial condition is the top half of an ellipse. The last quick thing I'd like to show you with this, it's in your textbook as well, is actually how to get the other half of that ellipse. If you put in another condition, so 0, negative 1, and I'll put that in, so just press tab. I'm going to click this button to add another initial condition. I'm going to put 0 and negative 1 in this time going to give us the bottom half. Push OK and then just escape so you can see. So check it out, now you can see the bottom half of that ellipse. All right, So you can see the whole ellipse there but it does require to help it out with its integration the top and the bottom sort of bound of that ellipse. So the 0, 1 and the 0, negative 1. So you know how high this ellipse is as well. So and you could play with that, I mean if you were to change these conditions, let's make this a 0.5 you can see it coming in to 0.5. So what that's really doing, those initial conditions are changing the particular family, uh, the particular curve that you're looking at out of that whole family of ellipses. And I'll change this one to 0.52, negative 0.5, to give the bottom half of a smaller ellipse. So you can see that. So all of the ellipses, depending on whatever conditions you put here for that value of y1, um, are going to be covered because you've got these solutions radiating out from the centre.